give other names like Tazkiya, purification of the soul, and many other different titles. But the actual essence of Tasawwuf is mentioned by Imam Abdul Wahab al-Sha'rani rahimahullah ta'ala in his work Asraru Arkan al-Islam, which is Secrets of the Pillars of Islam. In that work, in one line, he states that the very essence of Tasawwuf, or the very definition of Tasawwuf, is to practice Al-Qur'an al kareem and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So in effect, the definition of Tasawwuf would be practicing the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ahmad Zarruq Rahimullah in his book Qawaid Tasawwuf, he has Qawaid uh, which is rules and regulations of Tasawwuf. In that work, he mentions the reasons as to why Tasawwuf has multiple names. Because the subject is vast, any subject which is vast will have many names. So because the subject itself is vast, therefore Tasawwuf has many different names. But looking at the definition of Imam Abdul Wahhab al-Sha'rani rahimallah, which is the very definition of Tasawwuf is acting upon the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this would also include dealing with the ailments of the heart, the illnesses of the heart, the diseases of the heart. Does fiqh, which is jurisprudence, cover this also? We would say yes. But acting on this is called tasawwuf. We would say jurisprudence is theory and acting is pra- pra- doing this in the practical terms is tasawwuf. This would be the correct definition. So learning about the ailments of the heart, the diseases of the heart is fiqh, jurisprudence. Acting upon that is termed as being tasawwuf. Now when we analyze...